What's up, everyone? Uh, I am Magicide. Welcome back to our Geek Fest playing Crusader Kings 2 with the Game of Thrones mod. The last time we left off, we had a game crash, and we're going to continue on because we got some unfinished business. So we're uh, trying to uh, kill off our daughter's husband here because I don't know how it happened. Maybe did I do it when I wasn't paying attention or what? Maybe he like had a kid and he was in somebody else's court. Whatever the case. But... The firstborn daughter here has a regular marriage, and if she inherits, I am screwed. I mean, I think that's game over because their kids are going to end up being of that man's dynasty. However, though, if she inherits, I could potentially just... Uh, what I could do is actually just uh, divorce him, but then I'm going to have kids. And if I have like a, if, if she has a son, then he'll be the one that actually ends up is going to be coming in the at the air. So I'd end up having to do a whole bunch of tyranny. That is an option. I don't want to get there. I just want her to kill off him, and then I can marry her off matrilineally to somebody else. And then I could probably even try to kill off her daughter. As a matter of fact, I could just kill off all of her kids, but I'm not going to do that. Not yet, anyways. And I think that's pretty much all we are doing right now. We're waiting for our plot to actually fire off. Oh, okay, so I inherited the Lordship of the Isle of Flies. Um, we can give it to somebody here. No, it needs to be reverted to the king. So uh, let's go into realm. We'll go my culture, my religion, all that stuff. Uh, we'll separate it by stewardship here. Um, is there anybody that's content? Wait, what trade is this? Priest of love. Okay. Um, is there anybody content? There isn't. So what we need to do is look for that man again. Uh, where did he go? Oh, I hate it when it does that. Uh, let's go find character. Okay, it was this man. No. Where'd he go? Uh, it was a... Uh, ambitious man. So this guy... He's ambitious. Ambitious, but he's got... Look at that learning score. Let's actually have him take the lordship of the Isle of Flies. I can't do it. He must be able to marry and produce heirs. Is it because he's a priest? I'm, I'm betting that's probably what it is. Okay. So you can take that province. So he'll become my new vassal. He's got diarrhea. I saw my mortal enemy as soon as I stepped into King Doxos's castle. Okay, th th this is really badly worded. And, uh, pre something presence was almost more than I could bear it, and I no longer picked up uh, and paled with it. Wait. I could... Was almost more than I can bear, and I longed to pick up my sword and impale blank with it. Ugh. So, my cousin here has got 13 marshal. I've got 11 marshal. No. I don't want to have a duel. I'm going to die then. Okay, so uh, something here. Going to lose money. Uh, no. We're going to have to not do that. We're running low on funds. Uh, okay, I hear uh, all these weddings. No, I, I'm not going to do that. No, thank you. I just have that, that bad feeling that if I do that, I'm going to end up getting assassinated. Okay, so I actually have a few weak claims here I can press for people. So, who are you? You are my cousin's wife. And you have a claim on the Smiling Hills, which is in Amburu here. Ah, uh, no. Let's not do that. You know what I could do is I could just look for claimants, invite them to court, and then land them or whatever and push their claims. That is a possibility. The Iron Throne is getting really, really big. They don't have anything for troops now. King Rhaegar the second. All right, uh, let's make a move. All right, so we gave her a good tumble. Actually, do we have any prisoners? We have no prisoners. Well, that's unfortunate. I was gonna say we could uh, always visit some chambers.
This is awful. Kill him. Kill him. Before they start pooping out some more kids. Although I, I just I just had a tumble with my lover here. Maybe she's pregnant. She is pregnant. So we're going to have some bastard kids. If we produce one male heir, we are good to go. That's all I need is one male heir. One. Okay, so I've got some... Uh, the feuding between uh, Prince Chekoro of the Three Snakes and Lord Zielmo. Who's your courts? They're both my vassals. They both... Okay, this guy just doesn't like me. Um, we're going to... Dude, Zielmo, since he likes us. I think the other guy might be our rival, right? Yeah, we have quite a few rivals. Okay, has been sent to... Invent uh, who cares? I don't care. I'm worried about my own plot. That's the most important thing. Still nobody. I'm just constantly checking it because you never know when somebody changes their mind. Or maybe they get like somebody in their court that really hates his guts. And the other thing too is, is that we're still waiting for claims. We don't even have the money for it though. Apparently one of the courtiers has been annoying my wife, La Yaya, instead of asking me for help. She took the matter in her own hands and made sure the courtier would never annoy her again or he'd know the consequences. Uh, let's make her like us. Speaking of which, what we should probably do is give her a little bit of money to have her like us even more. She's lustful. She's young. She should produce us some heirs if she ever gets pregnant. She has two daughters of her own. No, actually, she doesn't. She has no children. The problem is, is that she's weak, so she has a chance of actually uh, passing that on to our children, if we ever make any. But we have one lover right now who's pregnant. We'll see what becomes of that. And since our stewardship sucks, we had to take the stewardship focus, or the rulership focus, excuse me, to improve our, our stewardship so we can hopefully get our domain situation here fixed. I, I don't think it's going to happen. I'd really like to get this absolute realm authority, even though it's going to make all of our vassals hate us. Oh, yeah, baby! We have a son. Um, let's do... Uh, how about grandfather? No, let, let's... Um, how about this? We'll, we'll, we'll do Conde, Macedor, and we'll do Doxos. Those will be our three names that we name our, our heirs. Okay, you will be King Conde. We are absolutely going to legitimize him. We have an heir! Nice! Well, we fixed that problem right away. Oh, that feels good. Ah, the relief. Um, still looks uh, piety. We're not making very much of that. We're making pretty good prestige. Uh, we could become exalted among men. Yeah, let, let's go, actually go for that. Because if we get some more wars, we're no longer going to get, get that hit from declaring wars. I wish I could actually pursue this. I can't... Wait, what'd she die? Why'd she die? <laughs> Somebody was plotting to kill her. All right, so we're gonna get married again. All right, um, let's. Is there any genius kids now? No. Quick. There was some attractive children. They probably got married off already. Yeah. Okay. So we got a thirteen-year-old here. Let's do that. Since I have the son. Oh, that's so good. Unless somebody actually murders him. All right, so my betrothed, so some people here can get married, looks like me. Uh, managing the large staff of servants in your castle is in many ways like managing a small realm. There are many duties to be performed, and getting things to run smoothly, smoothly is a true challenge. You have spent some time reorganizing your household, and your stewardship has improved. Nice. Remember, breakfast is served at 8. So we get a little bit of stewardship. Let's uh, let's hard save there. Since we had a game crash, we, we need to be diligent about actually hard saving our game all the time. Are we actually ever going to get... Okay, there we go. We finally get some money from this. Let's get the dowry. 
can get some prestige. I don't really care about that, even though we took the ambition. I want the money. 50 gold. Yeah. That's what we need. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was hoping to get. I'm surprised I didn't get it before when I uh, married my few previous wives. I'm still going to try to kill off my daughter's husband here because I'd prefer if she got into a, an actual matrilineal marriage. What is this, uh, Commander? Okay, um, so let's take a look. Uh, we have my cousin here. What about this man? You can get replaced with somebody. Let's do that. All right, my spy master likes me. Some of these other people don't like me very much, but whatever. I really want to just start pushing some of these claims with this woman here. What about... Wow, okay, so Amburu here has this entire island now. How many troops do you have? Who actually has... Who are the claimants here? Let's pause the game. Nobody wants to come to my court, right? Yes. Okay, so I can't actually get anybody willing to do that. What about Golden Head? Is there any claimants here? Uh, we, we have a woman here. We have two women that are ambitious. Let's, let's go ahead and invite them both to court. What I might try to do is land them and then push their claim. Like, give them one of these. Maybe even give them, like, a... What is it? Stonehead? Stonehead? Yeah. Might give them Stonehead push their claim, they get this province, or they'll, they'll get this entire area. They'll become our vassal, and we will revoke their, their, their title up here. Okay, so we got both of these women, so let's take a look. Let's pause the game. Okay, you have pretty okay stats. What's the other woman? Um, oops. Uh, okay, you're ambitious and chaste, and your patrols to somebody here. Um, so what I think I should do... The problem is is that they're they're Summer Islander, and I'd rather them be Nathi, but I'm wanting to acquire some more land here. Um, I can't, oh, that's right, because they're women, right? Because I can't actually... I can't actually give them a landed title. There's nobody over here. There was no other men, right? There was, there was nobody willing to come to my court. I need a man. No? Okay. Um, how about the Indigo Straits here? Oops. Um, go to your actual title. Claimants. Okay, we do have a man here. Let's uh, invite him to court. So there's one. There's a possibility here. Alright. So when we get this guy, we can do it. Alright. So let's take a look at the Indigo Straits just real, real quick. He has no allies, he has no troops, no money. Okay, where was the guy that I just invited? It was this man here. Okay. So, let's give him Stonehead. Let's land him. And then, I can push his claim, right? Why not? He's 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 a claimant on the title, right? He should he should have a claim on it. Oh, you got to be kidding me! So I just gave away this, this uh, a title just for nothing. Oh well, no man. God. Okay, so it's only a year. All right, let's uh, put him on special interest. Shit, man. I didn't want that to happen. So our mother here is still alive. <laughs> she's still kicking it, man. Forty or 64 years old. Although, uh, she's vomiting. She's getting sick. Do I have anybody else that I can form alliances with? Like, my, how about my future wife? Um, I don't think so, because I think she's actually our... Yeah, she's, she's a vassal of ours. Okay, when can I actually revoke your title? 
September of next year, okay. So we don't have that long to wait. You know what, screw it. I mean, if I can't push their claims, it's it's not worth my time. That sucks. Okay, so my Lord Treasurer is secluded himself and he's no longer able to do his job. So can we replace him with somebody? Somebody that can do their job? Pause the game. Um, you're the master of Noth. Well, let's actually replace him. I want these people to actually do their damn jobs, okay? Um, same thing with him. So he's another stewardship. Uh, we need... You are in Noth. Um, right. Let's go ahead and do you. Have you oversee the realm. If there's anybody that's, like, secluding themselves, I, I don't want them around. Since the Red Death is just going to perpetually be over there. We're going to not pay attention to anybody that's here. As far as their... Their, their scores and whatnot, their, their status. Okay, the peasants in the Lotus Valley spend a lot of time on the road in order to meet the meet with the priests, so we can spend some money. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Sounds good. So my brother... he My brother here wants a fief of his own. Okay, so... So, is there any possible I can not have this... So I can either give him the land, I can promise him something, but we don't want to do that. So he'll hate us, and... I'll be seen as a tyrant. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God damn, man. That sucks. I think if I have better diplomacy, though, I can actually take care of that. Um, so Conde is afraid of the dark. Um, we don't want him to become trusting. Or Craven. Oh, this is terrible. Um, trust, I guess. So he's become trusting. That's not good. It'd be better that he was paranoid. Okay, so it looks like my brother here has declared a du jour war on the Isle of Flies. So I can command them to end the war. Okay, good. So he ended his war. I don't think this is ever going to happen. Queen Kojai of the Basilisk Isles. That's our wife, isn't it? Yeah, that's my wife. Let's uh, let's actually send her a gift. She'll say yes. I know she will. Eventually. She was disinherited. So how come I don't have that option to disinherit people? Uh, what happened to my plot power? You know what? I actually don't need to kill this man anymore. So what we'll do with our spy master instead is should we say scheme or sabotage? Um, who is the greater threat? Is it going to be Amburu or is it going to be Goldenhead? I think we should just constantly sabotage Goldenhead. What? 44 gold? My chief general here with an heirloom with a quality artifact um no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that you're out of your mind forty four gold's a lot of money right now I can't afford that okay I think I can actually re revoke this guy's title I can't believe I have to do this get out of my land out If you can declare war on me, I was going to say, if 
you if you raise your flag in rebellion, I'm gonna I'm gonna come over there and I'm gonna push your face in. It's gonna happen. Okay, dear son, they want me to uh, do some war with them. Oh, ab wow. Okay, so my mother here has been really busy. Who am I actually fighting? So some slave traders. How many troops do you have? Oh, wow. Okay, so we're gonna actually need to raise. I think our full levy for this. Maybe. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be awful because it's gonna be expensive. So let's take all of our troops here, put them in the ships, and let's have them sail over here. And take our other ships here. Actually, you might not have to worry about that. Let's converge you guys. Okay, so it looks like we got everybody here. All right, let's move them on over. I'm pretty sure we're defending, right? So what the fuck just happened to my domain? It just said that I had a, I could do four. So why did it go down? What is going on here? This is some janky ass shit. This is one of the problems that I have with this mod is they, the domain size. It's just ridiculous. They expect you to have a million vassals. Okay, looks like the rest of our ships are actually ferrying in here. So are we actually attacking or are we defending here? I, I'm not really understanding this. Slave raid. So they, I think they declared war on us. Or on our mother, anyways. So they should be coming to us, I'm assuming. Alright, uh, let's merge you guys up. You know, I could... I, I actually think I should probably have to move my troops up there, right? Because they don't have access to ships. So maybe I shouldn't have stood down my... My ships! Okay, so let's do our own... I suppose, since we really don't have much of a choice. Um, move them all into position here. And I don't own any more of that property. So, let's get the rest of these guys. So what do I need? I need, what? 50, 60 ships? So, I could probably actually stand some of these down. So they're not so expensive. Um, so I got 73. We could probably stand this guy down. There. And, uh, technically. Okay, we, never mind. Alright, so let's have, have our guys get in the ships and uh, we'll go a sailing. We're losing a little bit of money here. But it's because of the ships, they're expensive. Alright, uh, let's move you guys up and in. So where's all those troops? He said they like had, yeah, five thousand troops. Wow. We're getting attrition. What are we getting attrition from? Supply limit. Wait. So why am I getting attrition here? That doesn't make any sense. Supply limit's eleven thousand. I've only got about six thousand. Why are we getting attrition here? Why? That makes no sense. These guys aren't like defensive uh, pagans or whatever. So why the fuck am I getting attritioned? Why am I getting a 5%? Stupid. Okay, well, the attrition went away. I don't know what, that, what the hell that was from. I don't think there was any plagues or anything in here. There was no reason for it. Let's just make sure that he doesn't somehow have troops around. He does not. Okay. So we're gonna. I could. What I could do here is, is I can actually stand down my ships. What we should do is probably stand down our ships. Let's actually put them over here. We'll stand them down, and then we'll just have to re-raise them later after the war is done. It's dangerous to do this because you know it's like if we're losing here, we would need to retreat. But I don't want to continue to lose a whole bunch of money. Oops. Whoa. 
Okay, so what we need to do is assault that. All right, we got a bunch of prisoners. That's good. Let's uh, move in and help our allies out. Um, take a look at our prisoners real quick. Wow, we've got a whole bunch of them that we can actually ransom off. And it's because I hold a whole... If you look at the war score here, we have 100%, so we should actually win this war, right? Do I actually own the guy? Is he in my prison? His wife, it looks like, right? Somebody. Um... <laughs> no, you monkey's den. Monkey's dens. I read that wrong. Monkey's dens. I can stay where... Oh, whatever. So it's 100%. We won the war. Alright, so our spy master did their job. We, we, uh, we have 100% here, guys. Okay. Alright, so... Let's take a look at our Intrigue tab. Um, let's do a Ransom All Prisoners. Try to make as much money as possible. And then what we need to do is actually get our ships again. Because I don't want to stand them down in foreign territory and only get a portion of our, our levy back. So I'm thinking, it's since it's from the same guy... He's only going to be able to do one at a time. All right, let's move you over closer. Oop. Yep. All right. There we go. Okay, so what do we got? Oops. We got 10 gold, 10 gold, 70 gold. Absolutely the 70 gold. Uh, how old are you? You're 38. Let's, uh, let's give her a good tumble. Can we do that? Visit her chambers. Um, we must not be kind or honorable. And I think we're kind. We're kind. So we can't actually visit their chambers. So I guess we're just stuck ransoming. Ransom. 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 Blah, 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 ransom. Paying for their release. That's what I'm trying to say. I can't talk today. I swear. I can English. I can speak. Just not today. We made some pretty good money ransoming people. Okay. This guy wants to pay. F yeah. Oh, yeah. 70 gold. You, you got it, buddy. So he's out of money now. Our wife, or I mean, excuse me, our mother has been doing really well for herself. As soon as she dies, this is all ours. All right, so it looks like my spy master is doing her damn job. That macro is so awesome. The event just to ransom them all off. How old are you? <laughs> has the butterfly fever. She's going to be dead. Uh, I guess I guess you can just uh, rot in my dungeon. She's going to pass away anyways. <laughs> so let's take a look at our laws again. So our wife... Rank... Uh, uh, didn't I just send you a gift? Like, why are you still pissed off here? Why is she so mad at us still? Revoked vassal title, different religious differences. Well, what religion are you? Okay, you're Nathi. Whatever. Okay, so my chief general wants to get married. Let's go ahead and do that. I think that's pretty important. Um, how about this? How about somebody with high marshal? Yeah, you look good. All right. Okay, so I can actually press a claim here 
for my vassal, the claim for the Citrus Coves. Don't I already own that? No, my mother owns that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. What are you talking about? This is beginning a little boring. I, I had the, the chance to actually get that claim earlier, but we were sitting in really, really low money. I think we had like nine gold or something. So there was no way possible that I could have actually done it unless I wanted to be sitting in debt, which I didn't. Okay, so my one daughter here, um, I don't care. Uh, Oh, it's so great. I, I can't believe I have a son, a legitimized bastard son, who needs to get married himself. Um, genius. I could have swore I already did this. Strong. How about giant? No giants. How about uh, attractive? Wow. Okay. So, 15, year 3, though. Uh, let's do it by age, I guess. So there's a three-year-old. Uh, nobody with claims, it looks like. That is my niece. Let's not do that. Okay, seven-year-old. How about this eight-year-old here who has this claim? Let's do you. I could just wait, but I kind of want him to start producing some heirs as soon as he's comes of age. Okay, my vassal requested... No, dude. Shut your fucking mouth. All right, can I just actually plot to kill this guy? I'm getting really pissed off here. Like, intrigue. Um, okay, I finally ransom her off. Uh, let's go to plot. My plot. Anybody you want to join in on this? Um, so you say yes. Not a lot of people here. Only two people. I don't think that's going to be good enough. Nope. He ain't gonna do shit anyways. He was what, the Isle of Flies guy? No, it wasn't you, it was somebody else. Uh, oh, come on, where, where, where is he at? Three snakes, there you are. I think he is my rival, correct? Domain too big, denied title. He's a greedy bastard. All right, the... Okay, so Noth, Noth has finally converted to the Gods of Summer Isles. Excellent. Okay, the recent conversion it pisses everybody off. Whatever. Let's go into a religion here. Uh, let's start converting the rest of our, our areas. Good job there, Eskender. As a matter of fact, you could probably use a gift. Um, all right. You know, I might just say screw the rulership thing and go with something diplomacy focused, but I'm really t trying to do my best here to actually increase this, to my stewardship score. Giscari opinion, Reiner opinion, Associ opinion, or Associ Valerian, Dornish, Vassal learning. So I, I guess that's from all this stuff, all these things that are giving us bonuses and whatnot. The other thing that sucks about taking the rulership focus is there's like no special anything you can do. There's no like special decisions or events. You know what? Um, we could hold a summer fair. Wow, it's expensive. Well, that's uh. Let's go ahead and do it. I mean, it is like the end of December. I don't know why we were able to do that. Um, who? Haken Zaken Co is trying to convince. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, so you can go to any religion. Let's go Zaken. I'm guessing it's this man here. Okay, it is that man. Well, we don't want that. Okay, so we have some opponents here. We have my wife. Uh, Marshall has caught some peddlers. 
We're gonna lose some, or we can gain some money, or we can do a local revolt risk. Um, don't we already have a revolt risk down here? We do not, okay. So anyways, let's go into our law tab here. Uh, let's pause the game real quick. Even if the church frowns upon jugglers, calling them glee men, and uh, we can gain prestige, lose piety. Well, we are trying to get prestige, so let's go for that. Um, so anyways, let's look at our opponents here. We've got our wife. Who else? Um, Conde the Shrewd. Conde the Shrewd. Where is Conde? Okay, so it's this man here who doesn't like us. Who I can't plot to kill him. He owns five votes. Uh, Ch Chikoro. Chikoro. He doesn't like us. <laughs> well, no wonder. They're the ones that have the most votes, except for my wife, who doesn't like us. Why don't you like us now? Why? Religion threatened. And we can't actually send them another gift. Is there anything I can actually do that will make you happy? I can grant you some, some land. I don't want to do that. Whatever. I don't care. Actually, where are you located right now? Secluded at Axe Island. Axe Isle. Uh, I forget which one Axe Isle is. Skull Isle, Axe Isle. Okay, so what we, I think what we should do here is we're going to send our priest to actually come over here and proselytize for a chance of actually flipping our wife. That'll help out a long way when it comes to their religion. Oh, <laughs> speaking of which, he dies. Uh, and I have nobody to replace him with, so we actually need to get a new courtier. Uh, right, so we get a holy priest. He looks good. Okay, uh, let's appoint him. Okay, and we'll have him do that same exact job. Thank you. Which sucks because our previous priest had some excellent learning. Alright, we have a child here that needs education and guardian. Um, let's. How about my wife? Yeah. That'll make her like us. But then she has a chance of actually taking on the Nathi religion. Oh, my wife just died. She kicked the bucket. Okay, um, so Courtier here, let's marry her off to somebody, um, actually I could marry her off, and she has a claim, yeah, let's marry her. Yeah, let's do that, man. That sounds good. That was a little serendipitous. Okay, um, let's actually wait for the event pop-up. Okay, um, what do we want to do here? We want to send you a gift, and uh, we'll actually have... Sign a guardian, uh, let's have it be my wife, wherever she's at. What is her name, by the way? Um, Boo Jiba. Okay. Uh, sign a guardian. Uh, Boo Jiba. Oops. Jiba. Yep. Let's do that, and we could probably actually go over to Allah's. I don't know if... Does she even have any say... Princess Jubiba, uh, Jub Bujiba of the Eastern Isles, which was the new one, right? Yeah. She doesn't hate our guts. What we can do is send her a drift. So she likes us, kind of, sort of. Um, let's go into these other guys. Let's actually send, give them a round of gift giving. So they don't absolutely hate us. Alright. Uh, I think that's about, a, about what I can do there. So I have another claim I can actually try to do here. That's my spy master. No. That guy. You. My cut. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, that's right. I don't want to do the Citrus Coves because my mother still owns it. And it's going to be ours soon. Man, and she's 62 years old. And she's still sick. 
Okay, one afternoon, your wife comes to you and begs a private word. She asks you to allow her to take one of the serving girls as a handmaiden. Uh, she says that she has become very fond of her, and she believes she would serve well, and two of them would get along wonderfully. Uh, sure. If you both get along, why not? Um, yeah. I didn't marry a homosexual, did I? No? Okay. All right, we get some money, some some taxes, and uh, Spymaster is continuing to sabotage Golden Head. All right, who needed the job here? What is this? My Spymaster. Go back to sabotaging. What are you doing? Oh, I've, that's right. I sabotaged it so much that I can no longer do it. All right, then go to Umburu. This is that point in the game where I'm like, you know, maybe I should be doing this off camera. I mean, you guys are just watching me go through the motions here of, you know, screwing around with trying to fabricate claims and whatnot. All right, so we get a revolt. Okay, what we're gonna do is just, we'll do our own levy and our own ships. It's way more than we need here. But this'll, this'll be crushed instantaneously. Oh yeah, boo yeah! Look at that. I just just sitting there talking shit about how I should do this off camera because I'm not getting claims and you know just kind of screwing around with the menus and whatnot. And what what happens? We get a claim. Nice. Okay, that was a claim for Lotus, Lotus, whatever Lotus Point. Okay, uh, just sure. Go to Amber Shore and do them. I I might not even actually need to do this because once our mother actually dies. Well, actually, technically, yes, we will, because we'll need a third province. Since there's four provinces in this duchy, we'll end up inheriting this one, we'll win this war, and then we're going to need a third one. So, looks good to me. So, we'll, we'll, we'll crush this revolt here, and we's going to war. Okay, your grace. Heathens attacked me when I tried to spread the word of the gods. In. Uh, okay. All right. And there's our war. Let's go ahead and offer peace. He sucks too. Let's throw him in the Uliet. Oh wow, okay, I have a 50% chance of actually losing kind. Uh, let's not do that then. I can humiliate him. Yeah, let's humiliate him. <laughs> You order Tar be poured over uh, Gerardo, after which he is rolled in feathers. Your guards laugh as they wheel him around the cities. Commoners and nobles alike sneer incredulously at Gerardo. What a display! The dress suits him. So Gerardo has a chance of getting a whole bunch of stuff. Losing, losing Gregarious. I don't think uh, nothing happened. Okay, so let's. Uh, let, what, what we should do? Stand down our troops and our fleet here. I'm not going to call them for trial. Fuck that. That always goes badly for me. All right, let's take a look at Lotus Point. They have... Holy shit, man. They got 4,000 troops. Where did they get all those? Do they have, like, mercs or something? They have no packs with anybody. I don't care. Let's uh, let's do it. Oh, we can do Bloody Vengeance. What does this do? Uh, is in a deadly feud. Okay, so... If we win the war... It reduces my fear change fear actually i think maybe that does people fear us or do they not fear us after that it doesn't make a difference um they could pay us some money and we gain control of the island or we could do it just a simple war let's actually do bloody vengeance let's do that and let's raise our levy and all that let's actually raise everything You get in the ships, and same thing with all of you guys here. And I think what we'll do is... Um, so I can gain 10 piety. Shouldn't it actually be purity? Oh, it's piety now. Why was it purity before? It was purity... 
when I was uh, got a harmony. All right, so we get some levy reinforcement rate. Very good. As soon as we get the rest of our troops and ships and whatnot, and we'll be able to actually go in there and uh, stamp their guts in. All right, 6,000 troops. Actually, we don't need you to do that. Just uh, land. All right, the rest of our ships, rest of our troops. All right, let's get in here and attack them before they have a chance to actually do anything. Uh, stand down our ships so we're not losing money. All right, I think I'm gonna have to sit there and play ping pong with this, with our army. You know, is there anybody else that we could actually, you have 18 Marshall. And Colin here has 16. And Papato can stay where he's at. They have low morale though. All right, we're just gonna set it to auto, auto move. Give our, give our uh, army a, a whole bunch of uh, movement order commands. So that way I don't have to do it. I can just sit here and click through the actual battles. So for any of you guys out there watching this and wondering, Paradox fixed the battle system, the way the battles were actually done in Conclave during the Conclave patch or the Conclave DLC and patch. It used to be that the AI army would just sit there and basically fight to the last man. You wouldn't have to deal with this stuff. There would be no retreating. Oh, I just caught her. Ah, <laughs> I love it when it happens. Mine. Okay, let's stand on our troops. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, they, they, they changed it. So now every time you fight, they pretty much retreat, especially when they're going to lose. Okay, so I can actually ransom all my prisoners. Wow. I had a whole bunch. Um, let's ransom him. Uh, you can do yourself. And what else do we got here? Your 10 gold, 10 gold. Any, any juicy prisoners? Doesn't look like it. So 10 golds it is. And now that I own this, I think I actually should give away the Lotus Point. So let's go into my religion, my culture, all that stuff. Um, is there anybody that's content this time? Okay, we do have one man here who is Nathi and worship, worships the correct gods this time. Let's give him the uh, Lotus Point. And... Summer Palace. So I said it's called Lotus. What? All right. Well, that took care of that problem. Um, I'm just waiting for some of the prisoners here to uh, be ransomed. So you say yes. You say yes. Okay. What else have we got here? You know what? Actually, let's just do it from this this tab here. So who's left? Can I recruit any of these guys? Are any of these guys even worth it? Is what I should be asking. Some of these guys are pretty old. I think I should probably try to recruit him. Uh, let's see here. Let's send him, send him a gift. All right, and then let's recruit him. And can I make him my new priest? No. So I actually, ha actually have to have a priest? I mean, like, why can't I actually have that other guy do it? Uh, let's go back to our entry tab here. Just trying to see if there's anybody actually worth my time. Like, some commanders. Small tourney. Third place. I've never seen that before. So it doesn't look like it. All the rest of the guys are kind of meh. 
Can we actually marry this man off to somebody? We can, uh, sure. Handmaiden. more packs here. Let's try to form alliances with people. So send you a gift and try to form that alliance. You say yes. Very good. Uh, the rest of these guys, I don't know if I can actually form alliances with them. It doesn't look like it. All right. Uh, try to ransom the rest of them. All right, so we got a new uh, new alliance. This is just never going to pass. Not for a while. We need better vassals. Okay, Uda of Bounty Stone has been a leal and able servant. Uh, sure, give her some money. Fucking resets her again. So go back to sabotaging. Por favor. Okay, so what I'm tempted to do here. Is it doesn't look like we're going to be in any shape to actually do that anytime soon. So why don't we cancel it? We'll go into obligations. We'll try to do minimum church le levies. And see if that passes. I think all of my vassals are still going to say no. Okay, you are working, as you are working, the court physician Doshuru bursts into your study. Your grace, you have been up all night again. It would be in your best interest not to work so hard, lest you shall collapse from exhaustion. So I could lose 50 prestige, lose diligent, and we could do take it easy. Uh, well, let's do that. Hopefully you, we did not become stressed. Very good. Awesome. Okay, so we have need to replace our chief general. Um... How about this man here? Have you trained troops? Nah, we need to replace him as a commander. Alright. Uh, let's go around commander. And... Yeah. We should absolutely have him do it. Uh, we have some guys here that can actually be the King's Justice. Uh, how about this man here? A high Admiral. What does this actually do? Opinion plus 10. Okay, uh, how about him? And looks like I can't have any more handmaidens. Do I have anybody here that I can hire as a dwarf? A dwarf? No. How about. No? How about any religion? Any culture? How about somebody that will join my court? Oops, uh, let's go to guess. There is no. <laughs> Well, that kind of dashes that plan. All right, it's been a while. Let's uh, actually hard save our game here. Every time I hear like this, this big dramatic music, I'm like, oh shit, man, my game might crash. So not not doing too bad here. I mean, uh, all things considered, as far as this uh, upper island goes, we're gonna own pretty much almost all of it. Okay, it's time for me to shoot. Uh, he wants to be good with numbers. And we're going to give him the best learning possible. Absolute. You know, I just realized, my uh, my thingy here, I'm a dutiful commander. That sucks. Uh, no, go fuck yourself. That's why my stewardship is lacking. I don't know how he got this. How did he become a dutiful commander? I'm pretty sure I, I was the one that I was actually educating him, right? So I don't understand how he got this. I guess it doesn't really make a difference in the end. Okay, the majority of the population in town has converted over to the gods of the summer faith. Excellent. Let's take a look at religion again. Okay, so we're not even proselytizing over there, but it converted anyways. Sounds good. That's what we want. What are all these fires? Is that, oh, is that because of significant depopulation? Yeah. <laughs> They're throwing bodies into the fire. That's what it is. Okay, so we uh, dude here collected some taxes. Excellent. And speaking of which, since we have all this money now, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually start improving these. And just get them out of the way. 
the the little the little holding thingies, the buildings it gives us some more troops. What I should have been doing is actually probably doing the training grounds. Maybe that'll be the next thing that I build. Because Nath needs to be as big as possible. Okay, so my daughter here, which daughter are you? The one that I actually want dead? Let's actually uh, tell her to stop pestering me. Okay, what do I need to replace here? A commander. Okay. You look good. You're my high admiral too. You know what I should do, actually, is probably... Let's employ a new courtier. Let's get a, another holy priest. <clears throat> and she's actually better than the one we have now. I just wanted a backup, because our current priest here... In case he dies, there's somebody to actually replace him with. But since we get a better one anyways... Let's have her proselytize over here in exile again. So what we're really hoping is that our wife converts. Oh, that's right, she died. What am I talking about? We don't have to worry about that. But we're going to do it anyways. We're, we're just going to try to convert it. We, we need to convert the rest of these islands anyways. Okay, the ambush came out of nowhere. The ruffians swinging their cudgel swords and their clenched fists at me obviously tried to kill me. I fought them desperately, but no matter what I tried, they still managed to hurt me and more seriously than I could them. Okay. So one of four options can happen. 60% uh, chance I escape with my life. Have a chance to get wounded, maimed, severely injured. And King Doxos' opinion of Princess Kojiba. Uh, oh, my! it's my daughter. Okay, I ran for my life in the ruffians, burdened with their weapons and armor. <clears throat> couldn't keep up with... Couldn't keep up with me for vault long. Not even when I couldn't see them behind. Didn't stop. Okay. So, my, my daughter here. My one daughter. I think it was this one, right? <clears throat> So we could try to assassinate her. Well, I could pay a whole bunch of money to assassinate her. Let's go to entry. Do we actually know what the plot is? No. Let's take our spy master then and have her come down here and scheme. Okay. Uh, send her a gift. Let's actually send my priest here a gift too. Okay. So my son here needs uh, an education. Let's assign him a guardian. Let's do it the right way this time. Let's uh, separate it by this. We want... You've got gonorrhea. Um, brave, Roth, stubborn. Let's have him do it. Oh. Kande might become Nathi. Wait, what is he now? He's a Summer Islander? How the fuck is he Summer Islander? How? When did he when did he become a summer islander? Oh my god. Well, that sucks. So we're going to Yeah. I, holy shit, man. I, when did this happen? Why? How did he end up how did he end up flipping to a summer islander? That that makes no sense. Is it because my lover? My lover she's a summer islander. Maybe that's why. I have no idea. That makes no sense though. I call bullshit. There's no reason whatsoever that he should be a Summer Islander. There's no special features to Summer Islanders, right? Oh, the Summer Islanders can actually raid and they can hold archery tournaments. So maybe it's a better thing that we become Summer Islander then. Because being Nathi doesn't do anything for us. Huh. I guess we'll just have to uh, just kind of roll with the punches here and see what's going to see what actually happens. So I think all of our family members hate us. Yeah, they all hate us. Demands of vengeance. Rival. So is all, all, all of our children rivals? <laughs> Why? Yeah, all of our children... Is, is that a bug? Like, why are all of my daughters my rivals? <laughs> That's so stupid. That is really stupid. I, I don't know what else to say about that. Like, that's ridiculous. 
Greenbone? Where's Greenbone at? Which one is Greenbone? Where's it at? Is that one of the... Oh, it's this little rinky-dinky island. Um, so I can actually press this man's claim, my cousin. Let's actually just scroll through real quick and uh, see who else we have here. Uh, this is for Amber Shore. So my other cousin, Lord Bapato, can claim Amber Shore. Where's Amber Shore at? Okay. You have the Lordship of Talent. So instead of me fabricating claim, we can actually just give him the province. Push that claim. Um, so we can actually have two different wars here. Uh, you have nothing for troops, no allies. This is, I'm assuming, part of Goldenhead, right? Or are you just by yourself? Okay, this man is actually just by himself. He's not part of Goldenhead. So we can actually declare two different wars here. So let's press this claim for our one cousin. And let's press this claim for our other cousin. Let's declare war, uh, yes, for him. And then let's take our just assure. I don't need to fabricate a claim because once we inherit all this other stuff here, uh, we'll, we'll be able to form this duchy, right? And then we'll automatically have a du jour claim on that. So what we'll do is let's take a look at Kaj. I think Kaj, the province of Kaj, principality. So is this island like, is it kind of like Noth where it's its own duchy? I think it is. Uh, maybe we should start fabricating on Umburu here. It'd be nice to start knocking them down a couple pegs. Or, you know what, this would be a ripe time for us to actually start thinking about invading these guys. Like, we could go after Dorne, or we can go after one of these little island nations here, or even Lys. And I think maybe getting this province would be really nice to get. He's got, holy fuck, he's got 20,000 troops. Why? How? You only own this, like, little bit. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, so lease is not going to be an option. Jesus, man. Where are these people coming up with all these troops? Just out of curiosity, what does the Torrentine have? They don't have anything. So why does lease have so many troops? You are feudal. I'm wondering if he has like a bunch of mercs. I wonder if that's what it is. It looks like he's losing money. He's losing a whole bunch of money. I think he's got mercs. I think that's what it is. There's the discrepancy. So where do we put our justice here? Where do we fabricate on? We could start working on Goldenhead, which would be in a our best interest, I think, too, because they are also a kind of a rival of ours. We can go Umburu, Lease. Well, not least now, but at some point. Uh, what do we do? Or do we go after one of these other little rinky dinky islands? Um, uh, I think what we should do is probably start working on Umburu here. Let's actually take a look at this, the situation just real fast. Okay. So this whole island here is just one duchy? Is that right? Am I, am I seeing that correctly? The Principality of Umburu. Wow. Okay, uh, well, let's get started on that. Let's actually do their capital of Hartvale. Okay, so you guys had only like 300 troops, so I'm just going to let you kind of chill there for a minute. Um, and then these guys had how many? About 1,000, so we can just raise our own troops. Actually, let's just do our vassal levy. I mean, I don't have to waste my own troops for that. Get you guys to come on down here. And same thing over here. Let's uh, get all you guys to converge. Although what they might end up doing is just putting all their troops onto the onto, onto ships and transporting them over to me somewhere. Yep, that's exactly what they're doing. I'm hoping this is enough troop to actually siege them down, by the way. Yep, oh yeah, we're not going to have a problem there. Alright, so let's merge them up. Wait, we had more troops than that, right? We had like... Oh, there we are. I was going to say, I had, like, we had uh, like 1,800 troops, I think. 
Okay, so we'll merge these guys up. Um, let's just actually assault them. Oh, nice. We got a whole bunch of prisoners. Let's uh, pause the game. Okay, um, and take a look at our prisoner tip. Actually, let's take a look at our war store. So we we have some high value targets here, prisoners. So we'll we'll, we'll keep them around. Okay, Master Zielmo has been a leal and able dude. Let's give him some cash. Okay, my prisoner is. Comp uh, no, you guys can just uh, sit down there, man. Uh, okay, so have our Lord Treasurer go back to giving us some money. Wait, I don't even care about a siege. Okay, so we got a militia training grounds that's done building in, in our province. Let's go ahead and do this finally. Why can't we do the training grounds? It has a guard station too. Uh, do we have a guard station? Where is it? Uh, patrol posts? Okay, maybe maybe it's this one we have to actually... I think we have to do this one. Okay, very well. The guard station, that's fine. That'll give us a whole bunch more troops and garrison and whatnot. So what I could do is actually... what Actually, what I need to do... This is what I need to do. I need to actually pick up my troops and go and take care of his army. Because otherwise they're going to burn down my fort here and I don't want to have to spend the 40 gold to actually rebuild it. <laughs> Alright, my court physician here. Why are you no longer my court physician? What's going on? My spy master. Wait, where'd all my people go? Oh, okay, so my, my mother has just died. So we just inherited a whole bunch of good stuff. This is all ours now. <laughs> Booyah, look at that. Um... No, no, no. I'm looking for the the principality. Okay. So I own that principality. Who owns this principality? This woman here. Is it the woman I'm actually at war with? I think it is. So why can't I actually usurp the title? I mean, I know why now because we're at war, right? She still has land in it. Um... So I have too many too many duchies now, right? I have Duchy Nath, Last Lament, Tall Trees. Okay, so I need to get rid of Tall Trees. Um, you're Nathy. You're a dynastic stain. Um, but you're also content. So let's just give it to this man here. Let's grant you the Principality of the Tall Trees. It didn't quite make you happy. Um, let's send him a gift, too. Is there any... So when that happens... I still have all my people. I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened. It doesn't make a difference. We own all of that now. Our, our mother was definitely ambitious. She took over a couple of provinces over here. And helped us out. I was never in command. What are you talking about? The moneylenders are here seeking repayment of Princess Jia's debts. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and pay it. On pause, come on. Let's finish up our war. Hurry up. That's right, crush them. Smash their face. Nice. We captured him. Offer him peace. Let's go and uh, do all of the prisoners. Let's take our troops. And quickly end this war up here. Okay, so somebody is... Looks like my daughter here. Decline. Um, ooh, an eight-year-old here. Who is... Okay, we got a 13-year-old giant. Let's try that. I'll lose a little bit of prestige, but I don't care about that. That's fine with me. Actually, I won't lose anything yet. Oh, that's right. You know what? I actually own all these these provinces here, right? Correct? Who are you? You are a summer islander. Um, I'm not going to actually boot anybody out that's Nathi or summer islander or anything else. I'm going to keep them there because if we end up culture converting ourselves to uh, Summer Islander, which I think we should probably do. Uh, I don't want to piss anybody else off, but we need to get rid of some of these some of these areas. Uh, this is Coney Forest, Naj. Okay, your citrus grows. 
Citrus Grove. Coves. I keep saying groves. Coves. Okay. And we need to get rid of two provinces. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go in and search all. We'll go my religion. How about my cultural group? And we have two men here. Um, nobody that's content. Shit. How about my religious group? Where's that? Uh, my religious group. Okay. Um, is there anybody that's content? Nobody. Okay. So, how about people with high stewardship? This woman here, this man right here looks... Okay, let's grant him the lordship of Coney Forest. Okay. Let's invite you guys to court then. Okay, and then... Didn't I have like a son or somebody here? Okay, I actually... Let's give him, uh, I guess, the Citrus Coves. Let's do that. And let's uh, send him a gift. So he stopped being a, a bastard. <clears throat> okay. Now I still have some prisoners here. So let's actually take a look. Uh, looks like nobody that I can actually ransom off. Okay, so somebody here can get married. Looks like my daughter. Okay, so we got the woman herself. Man, I've been getting that all all kinds. Like every almost every war I've been in, I've been doing this. It's amazing. We actually catch the woman herself or the ruler, the sovereign. And we automatically win the war. Thank you. And who are you now? You are... That's right, my, my cousin. I was pressing his claim, of course. Very good. Uh, so, can we take the claim... Or the... Oh, that's some bullshit. I should be able to usurp it. Uh, let's actually stand down our troops. I'm going to see if I can actually declare war on her or not. I don't think I can. Wait, what? She had mercs? Um. I don't have a cast this belly. So what I actually have to do... Motherfucker! So we actually have to fabricate over here. And there's... Is there anybody that actually has claims? Men? There's this woman here. <clears throat> um. Wow. That kind of sucks. Uh, we got a quarter, quarter. Okay. And you're just some random lady. Okay. So we've had a very productive episode here. We have finally conquered this entire area except for this one little island here. I think it's the Isle of Women. It is. Um, and we also managed to take out this. Wait a minute. Who is this guy? Didn't I didn't I just uh didn't I just fight these guys? Yeah, we declared war on him. So Wait, what the hell? It, it was it was like our cousin or something, right? Or did I misclick? Oh, no way. So did I just like go to war with these guys for nothing? I mean, it was like a cousin, or did he die, or what happened? I, I don't understand. Like, uh, we went to war with these guys, and I won. Did it insult somebody else? Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's go to history. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I had a cousin over here that had a, had a, a claim on it. And I don't anymore. Okay, well, that sucks. That, that's really terrible. Whatever, though. We've been, we've been very productive anyway. So we've got this almost the entire island. We're just missing the Isle of Women, like I was saying before. And looks like Golden Head here is fighting somebody. And looks like they're losing, right? 
Yeah, Eben Hills. Eben Hills is winning. 100% war score. It looks like we actually have another West, West Jala. So we've got three different groups that we need to concentrate on. Umburu, West Jala, and uh, Golden Head. And of course the Isle of Women, we're going to take that. But uh, this has been pretty excellent. I'm very happy, I'm very pleased with the results. I'm a little pissed off that, you know, since we converted, that our domain sucks. And I'm not getting any of the random events except for the one to increase my stewardship. And not only that, but our, I don't know how this happened, but this, this kid here is a Summer Islander. And I don't know how that is, but whatever. Anyways, thank you very much for joining me. This, is, uh, this has been fun. It's been, uh, been quite some time. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes in this episode. Played a lot of this mod today. I think it's time for me to maybe move on to either our Salerno campaign or, you know, I've been actually really dying to play some Total War Warhammer. Maybe I'll just call it Total Warhammer from now on. I'm thinking about actually maybe producing some videos for it eventually, uh, but I really want to get through one of my CK2 campaigns first. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode. So take care and have a good one.